Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So today I'm going to be doing the drawing that you can see on the screen. I'm also going to be reviewing the product uh, that I used to create the drawing. So this is the first, um, first time I've tried reviewing an art product on this channel. So I'll see how that goes. But also a few videos ago, I said I wanted to introduce a bit more variety to the channel. So uh, hence today's review. Um, the product itself is created by a company called Derwent. I'm not associated with Derwent in any way. Um, so the opinions that I give in the video are just my opinions. Okay, so this is uh, the product that I used to create the drawing. It's created by Derwent. Um, it's called XL Graphite. And they're in these, you can buy them in a tin with six of these blocks. You get four colors plus two um, varieties of just plain graphite, one soft and one very soft. So at the bottom, you can see the four colors. There's an olive green, a Prussian blue, a couple of earthy colors, and then the two graphite, two grays at the top. You can see they're water soluble. Um, and I use just a wet brush to create this, but you can see a lot of granulation in there. So although they're water soluble, they're not the same quality as a good watercolor paint. If we convert that um, the last image into black and white, it, it's easier to see the values. So you can see at the bottom, the bottom three colors, quite light values, a couple of sort of mid values, and then the one dark value. It would be nice to have another value in here in between the very dark and the sort of mid values. So to sum up so far, they're quite expensive, uh, limited colors, color range, a limited value range and starting off the drawing you can see they are quite chunky they're about sort of an inch thick so they're not the easiest things to hold at least uh, in my opinion so especially with a smaller drawing like this and this is just um, a sketchbook it's a gray toned paper other than that it's just basic sketchbook. There's nothing special about the paper. With this sort of smaller sized sketchbook, I find it a little bit awkward to work with these. Maybe that's the, the size because of the size and the like chunkiness, if that's a word, but also maybe just because I'm not used to using them. It's the first time I've tried using them. Now, because they are very soft, um, you can put down a base layer. I use just the Prussian blue, and then you can start drawing on top of that. So you can build up layers and you can use other colors. Or in this case, I used the very soft graphite just to put in details or add in emphasis on lines and things. Like I say, they are very soft, so you can smudge and blend the colors quite easily. I use just my hands to do the smudging, but I guess uh, anything's going to work really, a blending stump or tissue paper. As well as those blocks, I also um, use some Derwent drawing pencils. And this one, I'm just using a white pencil. I also used an earthy color and a, a dark blue color, just to add a bit of texture and a bit of interest um, into the drawing. Like I say, I find the lack of variety in colors, especially there's no white or very bright yellow or anything. So I felt I had to add something. There you can see, I put some green on top of the Prussian blue. Because they're so soft, you can put layers on top of other layers quite easily. So this is a scan of the final drawing. Um, if I was going to give these like a mark out of 10, it would be at the moment five out of 10. The main problems are I find them a little bit awkward to draw with, lack of color, um, 
variety and lack of value variety. They are water soluble, so you can maybe do some interesting things with that. I tried another drawing. Uh, this one I used a wet watercolor brush to try and uh, move the pigment around on the page. Also, the paper was damp and I, <clears throat> I found that if you draw on the damp paper, you get a lot of pigment coming off the, the blocks. So if anybody asks me would I recommend these, um, to be honest, I would hesitate. Um, you can buy individual blocks and I would maybe say buy one of the blocks, try it out. If you like it, by all means, get the other um, available colors. If not, well, it's not too expensive for one block. The, the tin of six blocks, um, if you buy it directly from Derwent in the UK, it's £27, which is more than 30 US dollars, which, like I say, I think is a little bit expensive. I got it off Amazon for about 30% less than that, but still, it's quite expensive for what is basically just graphite. So maybe buy the individual block, have a go with that, see if you like it. There's also... They also do it in charcoal. So there's six XL charcoal blocks, um, slightly different colors. Um, I haven't tried them yet, so I don't know if they're better, same or worse. Okay, so like I say, this is first attempt at a review of a product. Um, and as I say, I'm not affiliated with Derwent in any way. So I can just give my honest opinion. If you'd like to subscribe, just click on the big red button below and hopefully see you in the next video.